Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you all. I was invited down by the body shop who sponsored Fashion Scout last week and I went to the Ashley Isham show and I cannot tell you how incredible it was. It was my first fashion show and the makeup was just incredible. Like the eyes, the highlight, the lips, like it all was beautiful. The clothes were beautiful, the models were beautiful, and the makeup of course was beautiful. And I am here today to recreate the makeup look for you all. And it's a very kind of super long elongated winged eye with super super amounts of highlight and a gorgeous ombre blood red lip. So if you'd like to see how I got this look then please keep watching. So I'm first starting off with prepping my skin and I use the Drops of Youth Concentrate all over my face. Now this gives a really nice smooth looking complexion to your skin and also acts as a really good primer. So once I've put that on all over my face, I went in with the Aloe Protective Serum. Now this helps to kind of moisturise your skin and helps if you've got any kind of dry patches. And then last but not least, I'm going in with the Vitamin E Face Mist and popping that onto my face and the skin is all ready and prepped for the makeup. I used the same foundation as the model would did and this is the Extra Virgin Minerals Liquid Foundation in the shade 202 and applying that with the foundation brush all over my face. So what I did first was I applied a layer of this all over my face and because the coverage is really, really quite good, I felt like I didn't need a second layer. Then I went in with my fingers and blended it in really well into my skin because this helps warm up the product and really give that kind of seamless airbrush kind of skin-like finish and look to it all. I love that all the models have that fresh, dewy kind of look to their skin. I absolutely love that. I then took the all-in-one concealer and pop this into the areas where I kind of felt like I needed extra coverage on my skin and this is in the shade 03. So first I went in with a lip brush and then used my fingers to blend that in. And then I also added some of that same concealer on to my under eyes in the same method, so with the lip brush first. And then used my ring fingers to really blend the product in and make sure that there were no kind of harsh lines between that and the foundation. Once all of the base was complete, I went in with the brow and lash gel, which is just a clear gel, and went and set both of my brows in place so I didn't have any kind of a centipede lashes or anything like that going on. And then it was time to do the eyes. So I grabbed this Color Crush eyeshadow in Sugar Gaze, and this is a gorgeous shimmery white highlight color, and I just popped this into both the inner corners of my eyes to give it that really open-eyed look, and this is exactly what the models had done as well. It's a really creamy eyeshadow, and it's really, really super, super easy to blend, which is something that I absolutely love. Then it was time to do the eyeliner, so I used the Smoky 2-in-1 Gel Eyeliner, which is in the shade Black. And what I did first was I just lined my upper lash line first. Nothing fancy, just a simple line across my eye and I went in little strokes to make sure that I didn't mess up or make it too thick or anything like that. And then I did the exact same thing onto the other eye as well, so using small strokes from the actual lid of this because the lid has a brush on it which I think is really cool and this is probably one of the creamiest gel eyeliners that I've ever used. I was super 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 impressed. So once both of my eyes were lined I kind of made sure that they were looking as equal as possible and then it was time to do the super long flick. So I took the lid of my shimmer cube and I grabbed it and kind of put it on my eye where I wanted the wing to be and I simply just drew along that line so it acted as a bit of a guide. So as you can see it was as super super simple and as easy as that. And then I just built up on it and made sure that it was joined onto the main eyeliner on my lash line and then did the same thing on the other eye. So here I'm using smaller strokes so that I could show you that you can do it in one big stroke or you can take your time and and you know if you're not too comfortable doing it you can do it this way and it creates the same kind of effect and yeah I'm just making sure that everything's joined up and it's all looking seamless and 
pretty darn cool. Like, I would so wear this if I feel like I could pull this off during the day, but I absolutely love the way that the models did their eyeliner in this show. It was beautiful. Then I went on top of that with the liquid eyeliner in black, just to give it that intensity that I felt like I just wanted to add on top. And I just simply followed the eyeliner, which I had done with the gel eyeliner, and just applied that on top. And I did one eye first and then the other eye and I just felt like it gave it that extra kind of really like super black look that I wanted it to have. And for some weird reason I just couldn't get over the model's eyeliner in this show like I could not stop staring at it. But I hope I did a good job at kind of like create recreating this look. <laughs> and then I went on with the Body Shop Super Body Mascara and I popped a few layers of this on my lashes. Um, I didn't go in with any falsies because I felt like the eyeliner was so strong that I just wanted to layer up the mascara on my lashes. So here I'm just putting quite a few layers on as you guys probably already know because I'm obsessed with mascara. And then I also didn't forget to do the bottom lashes as well. So I made sure that the bottom lashes were nicely coated too. Oh, and I also did line my upper waterline with the gel eyeliners as well, just so that everything was nice and seamless and there were no gaps in my lashes. Um, so here I am just doing the final layer, and then grabbing the Honey Bronze Body Shop Bronzer, which is the darkest shade that I use. I wanted to make my cheeks look like model cheeks, so I did slightly contour them. Now, I just ever, ever so slightly did it. As you can see here, it's nothing major, it's just really natural. Um, but yeah, I just felt like my cheeks needed a little bit of contouring going on. So I've applied that and I think this has to be my like favourite, favourite, favourite part of the look and it's the highlighter on the cheeks. So I used the Body Shop Lightning Touch, Touch Lumiere in the shade 00. So this is like a kind of highlighter pen and the colour of it is like this rosy pinky colour, it's absolutely stunning. So I applied that onto the back of my palm and then took bits of it from my fingers and then just started blending it into my kind of cheekbone and up into kind of like my hairline as well and did the same thing on the other side. Now during the show all I could stare at was the incredible highlight. Obviously the eyeliner as well, but the highlight was just gorgeous. So I actually put two layers of this on. So I waited for it to dry and then added some more of that highlighter on. And I think this has to be my favourite cream highlighter because it is that beautiful. I, I fell in love with it at the show and literally even after, now that I've got this on my hands, I'm just like, I can't stop using it. It's such a stunning highlight. So um, yeah, um, once the highlight is finished, it looks something like this. And then I went in with a little bit more of the bronzer just to make sure that the um, highlighter didn't counteract that and kind of make it look like it wasn't there. My cheeks had just fallen flat. <laughs> and then it was time for the lips. So first I took this lip liner here, which is the in the shade 06, and lined just my outer thirds and kind of created a bit of a triangle shape and filled that in. So I did that in all four corners of my lips, so the bottom and the top. And if you can kind of guess, I'm literally just drawing like a really long triangle on both my top and lower lip. Then I went in with the 13 lip liner shade, which is in the shade Rosy Red. And then what I did was I lined the rest of my lips and then filled all the gaps in like you can see here, and I made sure that the lip liner was also blended into the edges of the darker colour so it wasn't like just blocks of colour. It also helps the whole process of doing a ombre lip so much more easier as well. So once I was done with that, it was going in with the lipstick straight away and I used the shade 101 which is the actual shade that they used on the runway as well. It's a gorgeous like tomato red colour. And I just pretty much put this on my lips as I would normally, trying to concentrate the colour in the middle because I didn't want to ruin all the ombre work that was done previously. And I did about two layers of this on so it was a nice opaque red. Then I decided to go back with that darker lip liner in the shade 06 Mahogany and just intensified the outer corners again. And yeah, I just felt like it gave it that really nice ombre kind of look and feel to it. 
but to intensify that a little bit more I went in with the Shimmer Cubes palette 30 which is like a bronze kind of palette like you can see here and took the darkest chocolate brown colour and just dabbed that on to the outer corners of my lips like you can see here and it really really did that kind of lived in grungy almost ombre lip which I personally really liked and then I did use my fingers just to make sure that it was nicely blended in together. And that, you guys, is the final look from the Ashley Isham Autumn Winter 15 Fashion Scout Runway. And I absolutely fell in love with this look as soon as I saw it. And I still cannot get over the highlight, you guys. I'm still so, so, so obsessed with it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And a massive thank you to The Body Shop for helping me break down the look for me to be able to recreate it for all you guys. And yeah, I guess I will see you all in my next video. Bye!